Hi friends! It's been a while since I've had a video with Mac, but today we got our first ever Pup Joy box. Um, I decided to stop doing the Super Tour just to give something else a try. So I decided I was going to do Pup Joy. Mac has a lot of allergies, as I've told you before. So this is one of the few boxes I could find that gave me the option for the protein allergy since he's allergic to chicken and beef and possibly because something new. Um, he developed like this rash on his stomach beginning of the week so I took him to the vet and they think he might be allergic to pollen or grass so he is now on allergy pills aren't you bud? <laughs> he's waiting so patiently. Um, so that's starting to clear up. I don't know something really weird. He didn't even notice he had a rash. But he's getting better, so that is why I am doing the um, protein sensitive box. And like I said, it's our first one. So let's go ahead and just dive on in. He's really anxious to see what's in this month's Pup Joy box. They did mess up a little bit. They gave me a bunch of beef products. I've already re reached out to the company and they're gonna send new treats and shoes because they sent beef, so I won't be um, giving him those, so he won't be taste testing <laughs> those treats. Can you sit? We're almost there. I know, you did good. Um, we won't be taste testing those, but he'll taste test everything else and I'll give him the, the toys and stuff, so. Unlike the Bark Box, um, Pup Joy doesn't have a monthly theme. They, but they, from what it looks like, they have really great products. See, he's already interested. Okay, so my Pup Joy box. I'll just pull things out as I see them. So the first thing that's in here is this rubber bone. Yeah. You, and it's got holes on the end so you can put treats on the end and <laughs> this is made in the US and it is made by Filerflex. I've never heard of them I've never even seen this in the store but they say it has a lifetime guarantee from manufacturing defects which is really cool and it I don't know I was reading the back of all about it and it says this material will withstand their biting pressure. So, for once, I remembered to bring some scissors, so. Okay. So that is what this bone is. Like I said, it's like a rubber material, but it's really thick, and each end has a hole in it, so you can stuff treats, so I'll hand that to him. You want it? There you go. Okay, you gonna take that over there? I'm sure he'll be back. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to pull out of here is, I'm not really sure what to describe this as. It's literally, it's an, this is made by Pup Joy. Um, and it's literally <laughs> a plastic Pup Joy coffee cup, but it is bacon scented. So I don't know he's gonna he really wants it so he must like the way that smells and like I said that's made by Pup Joy and I don't know bacon scented dishwasher safe a big plastic piece to chew on and then the third toy in this box which I think is my favorite is this stuffers football so it has all these little like ridges on it and center you can put treats all in it put peanut butter in there I'm really excited about it so this is a the steel dogs stuffers football this is vanilla scented um, I'm not sure if dogs like vanilla but that's what this is and it has the deep grooves to massage and clean their teeth let me take these things off Always make sure you remove the tags before you give them to your dog. Don't need them choking on plastic. So the first bag of treats, these are made by Shameless Treats. They're 
Made in the USA. They are all natural and grain free. And it says they're made with upcycled ingredients. I've never heard of that before, but that's um, what they claim this is. So if you're wondering, upcycle, they take unusual food and turn it into nutritious, nutritious products. Um, provides incomes to farmers, saves resources, and is better for the environment. So it looks like they take, okay, so let me read this. One billion pounds of food is grown, but not used for reasons. Like it doesn't look pretty. So like this is ugly vegetables and stuff that makes this stuff. So like I said, Shameless Pets, this is the break and egg recipe. I really had to read the ingredients to make sure there was no chicken in this and there's not. The only thing in here is eggshell meal, which I hope, and it's the very last ingredient. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him one of these and see if he likes it. Okay. And it says this recipe is for strong bones and they are heart shaped. They're a pretty decent size. They're good for like a treat. There you go, good boy. Drooling everywhere. And the next treat in the box this is, I've never seen lobster treats before. So this is something new for me. I, do you like lobster? You love salmon, so it's gotta be like in the same genre, I would assume. So this is a lobster roll recipe. This is also all natural and grain free. Made by Shameless Pets, so the same people that made the other ones. And they say this is for healthy hips and joints. So, same thing made by from upcycled ingredients. These are also hearts, so they're the exact same size. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard. There you go. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Do you like lobster? Does it smell like lobster? What does lobster even smell like? Oh, it smells fishy, that's for sure. There, those are your treats. Okay, so those are the two bags of treats that came in the box. And they're, like I said, they're both made by Shameless Pets. Now the next stuff I can't actually give him because this is the beef products. So these are steak jerky and they're made by Pup Joy. But, um, <laughs> but he can't have these. So for a lucky subscriber, I will send you all of this beef product for your dog. If you want, let me know. Um, leave a comment below and I'll get back to somebody and I'll show you the rest of the stuff in here. So these Pup Joy Steak Jerky Dog Treats, they look like they're a pretty good size. I'm not gonna open them because I'm gonna send them to somebody. But um, it, on the back, it has this little like note here and I'll read it to you. So it says this package was assembled with lots of love by the wonderful, wonderful people of the Hopewell Center where intellectually disabled individuals learn important job skills to help them live their own lives. Every purchase you make at Scout and Zoe's allows us to keep supporting Hopewell. Learn more at scoutandzoe.com slash Hopewell. So these are, the really good thing about the Pup Joy box is that some of the proceeds from the sales actually go to shelter dogs and to help them get adopted or um, let me see what it says. Animal shelter and rescues all across the country. So they're actually doing something really good with their products. So that is that treat. And then there are two chews in the box both beef. So this is a beef stogie ox tail. So that's what this looks like. And that is made by the premier meat market. So it's a premium dog reward and it tells you to supervise your pet, but that's beef. So I can't give him that. Looks like there's a bone in there. I mean, it's a tail, so I don't know. And the last thing in the box, which is also beef, made by the same premier meat market. 
This is a beef bully stick, which he really wants because he loves bully sticks. Bub, I'm sorry. I can't give this to you. Um, but that's what this is. It's eight inches. It's a good, it's a really good size. I could break this up into a couple different pieces and give him his treats or I would give him the whole thing. I'm not really, I mean, I can't, but if it was something he could eat, that's probably what I would do. So as far as my first Pup Joy box goes, I really love the products. The toys are great. He looks like he's really enjoying them so far, but they did give me beef products, which they weren't supposed to. They emailed me back today because I just got this yesterday. They emailed me back today after I told them what happened and they're sending me all new treats and shoes. So I will um, update you guys on what comes in when that happens. But I'm really looking forward to next month. You guys let me know your thoughts on everything and if you have a Pup Joy box and what you think. I think he's really going to enjoy it. Like, like I said, this is my favorite. This is so cool. We're a big football house, so you got your own football. And I'll keep him occupied if I shove a bunch of like peanut butter in there or something. Until next time, guys. It's great to talk to you, and um, bye. Bye.